Contestant number three, why have a vision? Why have a vision? Contestant number three. Where there's no vision, the people perish. This is from the book of Proverbs. This quote has been used by leaders over the centuries. What does it mean? Does it mean a physical death? I think much more. Perhaps it is mental, emotional, or even a spiritual crisis. While innocent life is to be protected, it is far more necessary for the survival of a civilization to protect these latter points versus simply protecting themselves from casualties. Those who don't care about anything and or don't have a vision of what they want to do with their lives will live a destructive life. They think of only themselves and their next pleasure, let it be food, games, something dangerous, or even illegal. So what is vision? A dream or a goal? What we want to do or become someday? Where does this vision come from? Leaders, by nature, share vision. Therefore, it is critical we have leaders who have vision. Visions about the future aim at serving the people. When a leader's vision is self-centered, certainly people perish. We see this in the reign of Stalin, Hitler, and Mao. Their eagerness for power led to the destruction of millions of innocent lives. We see the loss of individual identity in Europe, Asia, and even the Middle East as vastly different cultures are encouraged to adopt the same way of life. This is leading to a mini term, the death of Europe. And in Asia, the gap between males and females has alarmed authorities to the point of offering incentives to keep female children in an effort to balance the future generations. So are there any true leaders based on what we have identified as a leader? There certainly must be because here you and I sit. You can't deny the fact that our parents have a vision for us. They feed, educate, and provide us opportunity for growth. They generally fall into the category of a true leader. Others that might fall into the class might include our extended family, friends, coaches, scout leaders, and even the court system in our country is designed to help redirect troubled youth. Other more memorable leaders might include Mother Teresa, who through her dedication helped unite. Mother Teresa, let me restate that. Mother Teresa, who through her vision to help the poorest of the poor has inspired thousands of others to reach out to those in need. Joan of Arc, who through her dedication helped unite France against all odds. Former President Ronald Reagan, standing up to communism, watch as the Berlin Wall finally fell. John Bosco, an Italian priest who dedicated his life to young men struggling with their abandonment and worthlessness. And more recently, a little closer to home, Greg Mortensen, an average guy who by accident stumbled into a small village at Baltistan and began a legacy of helping build schools in the war-torn Middle East designed to educate all children. So what does this have to do with you and I? In order to have a healthy nation, we need a true leader with a vision that is not self-promoting, but one based on serving the community. And what is this community he shall serve? It is none other than the basis of all civilization, the family. Our homes need the support of our leaders so the parents who hold us accountable to our behavior can stand up in turbulent times. These times can make it nearly impossible to raise healthy, happy, productive members of society. That is why a leader with a vision is crucial so that our people will flourish and not perish.